Three, two, one, stop. A long time ago, transport aircraft were equipped with piston engines. These engines were subject to frequent failures. To demonstrate that they were sufficiently reliable for airline operations, the certification authorities imposed the execution of what is called a route-proving demonstration. After ensuring that the airplane was sufficiently safe, the airplane manufacturer had to fly 300 hours in operational conditions, usually in collaboration with an airline. Today, considering the reliability of modern engines, such a demonstration could be avoided. However, route proving is still performed, as it has shown some other advantages. It is one of the last tests of the certification campaign. All airlines want to receive perfect airplanes for entry into service. The comfort of the passengers is obviously fundamental and some small defects that were accepted years ago are no longer tolerable today. For example, one important step in the development of the cabin is the tuning of the air conditioning. The contrast between temperatures outside and inside the aircraft is huge in crews. To optimize the air conditioning system, heating dummies are installed on all the seats with the ability to modify their temperature to match the energy of humans, depending on their activity. Without the installation of a specific system, the temperature just in front of the outside doors would be cold. Usually, a heating carpet is fitted and this system must be tuned. Many other tasks need to be performed for the development of the cabin to reach the requested level of comfort. However, it is not possible to solve all the problems without passengers on board. For example, they will easily feel the uncomfortable draft of air that machines cannot detect. In addition, during long flights with passengers, there is some humidity in the cabin and during the descent, in case of inadequate drainage, there may be condensation leading to water droplets falling. This needs to be checked and corrected before entry into service. An airplane manufacturer does not want to have the media or airline passengers on board as long as it is not sure that everything is working properly. Therefore, the best solution is to perform the first cabin development flights with only passengers from the manufacturer on board. For Airbus, these flights are called early long flights. On long-haul airplanes, when it is considered that it is safe to carry passengers, a series of several long flights is organized. They last from 7 hours up to 15 hours, including part of a flight in night conditions. Some places are reserved for people participating in the program and for those who have a job on board. All the other seats are distributed after drawing names from a very long list of volunteers. The cabin crews for the early long flights belong to a customer airline. Their comments are always useful for making improvements as necessary. Some Airbus cabin crew also participate, checking for potential anomalies in the airplane. On all programs, these early long flights have been very useful as they allow improvements to be made in the cabin sufficiently early on in the development and before any presentation to the customer passengers and to the media. Just before certification, the final exercise is the route proving. It is no longer a reliability insurance for the engines or even for the airplane, but it is a global demonstration for the manufacturer and for the customer airlines that all the systems are operating perfectly and that the entry into service should be smooth. Usually, the required 300 flight hours are partly covered by various trips performed during the development and certification process. 
It may include flights for positioning for specific tests, such as cold soak or high altitude tests. It may also include flights performed during the development taking advantage of commercial tours. However, at least 150 remaining flight hours are affected to this route proving. The organization of the route proving is not identical on all programs. It is usually performed with the participation of one or several airlines, usually among the first that will put the airplane into service. Some flights may be performed with passengers who are usually guests from the airlines participating in the route proving. When an airline is participating, in the cockpit there is an Airbus captain and one or several pilots from an airline as pilot flying. If, for specific flights, a cabin crew is needed, it may be the personnel from the airline with the support of some Airbus technicians to take care of potential issues. The maintenance is frequently shared between Airbus and the airline mechanics as a training exercise. The destinations are usually those of the airline participating. However, sometimes Airbus uses part of these route proving flights for commercial tours, even if there are fewer passengers on board. It could also be used to visit some airports for specific additional tests. The last route proving series of flights on the A380 was a world tour via the poles. Toulouse, Johannesburg, Sydney, Vancouver and back to Toulouse.